Hi there, my name is April Sawtell and welcome to my channel. So today what I'm gonna be doing is I have to do this. I'm so sorry, I know you might be getting a little tired of my little fabric hauls, but they just keep happening. So my friend Helen goes to a yard sale. She knows if she finds anything for me, pick it up, I'll pay you back. I am so happy to do this. I can't, it's just too exciting for me. This is what $10 got me. Thank you so much, Helen. Thank you for always thinking of me when you hit these great sales. I don't make it out to yard sales very often, so thank you so much for going all the time and always keeping me in mind. All right, let me show you guys what I got. I just can't even believe this. So much fun. Okay, just tons. There's just so much on here. I mean, it's just, just to add this to my collection is just so much fun. Look at this. And then what I'll do is I'll just wash it all and then I'll refold it and I'll put it on, all my stuff is kind of color coordinated. So I'll just put it with my own stash and I just love it. I just can't even believe um, what $10 can buy. I mean, when I go to the store to buy it, you, you guys all know too. I mean, it's just expensive. You just buy a little um, yard of fabric and it's more than this whole entire bag. So I am just so thrilled. So then there's scrap pieces. Perfect. You know, I, you know that I just bought my first um, scrap pack back in like May. So I love scraps. I use a lot of scraps. I have so many of my own scraps. I buy clothes for scraps, keep scraps. You know the whole story. So much fun. So I would love getting other people's scraps as well. But just let's keep looking here. Just It just goes on and on and on. This is going to be so much fun for me to wash and dry and fold it. You know, that's part of the fun for me too. I don't know why, but I love um, folding it. I love ironing. I love all of that stuff. So there's not too much about sewing that I don't like. So this is so fabulous. All right, let's just keep going here. And I mean, this just goes on and on. There's like a couple, two, three yards on these, you know, there's a lot of fabric here. This, I'm going to make so many quilts. We all say that, right? But it really, I mean it. It's, oh, just take a piece of this or a piece of that, throw it in a quilt just to get that extra color and you are good to go. Oh, this one is adorable. I love this one. This is just great. I love every bit of this. So, so I'm unbelievable. I do get really lucky though. This does happen quite a bit. I am so fortunate that I have friends that watch out for me and my family because um, I don't want to pay full price for fabric all the time. I do. Don't get me wrong. I love shopping for fabric. I love it so much. I have a Martins. I've told you that before. A Martins is a like a discount store, but they have an entire huge fabric department and they have them all. Th I live in Maine and they have them all through my state. Lots of different towns have them. So they're huge. Their fabric department is amazing and it's very inexpensive per yard compared to, you know, uh, you know, some of the fabric stores. I just love my Martins too. They just, I just get such good deals. And so I do spend a lot of money on fabric as well, but I do get a lot uh, gifted to me. I buy it off yard sales. I buy it off friends that buy it off yard sales. I buy estate sales. So we're always on the lookout. It's just, it's just so fun. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And I always pick up fat quarters. Wherever I go, it seems like I'm constantly buying fat quarters. I need to do a lot more sewing to catch up with this fabric, you know, with all my fabric. I think all sewers have that same problem. So, but winter's coming and watch out. I plan on making lots of quilts. Just look at this. So this was bought at Martin's and this was, I can tell cause I know the tag, that's how they label them. And this was 
um, one yard at $3.99 and it's so soft and beautiful because usually it's like six I think it's like $6.99 a yard um, typically and you find some you find a lot of brand fabrics but see they were they're discounted and their fabric department is beautiful I mean it's so beautiful it's like um, I'll call it like Grand Central Station it is so busy they also have a lot of sales. So when they can't sell like certain fabrics, they'll mark it down to a different price. So you just watch it. And sometimes, I mean, you know, one of my friends, the one friend I have that does sew, her name's Barbara. We'll just call her Barbara. And she'll call and she'll say, it's like $2 a yard. Just kind of like, okay, I'll take a yard of this, a yard of this, or two yards of this, or two yards of this. But my gosh, you can leave there with a whole big, bag full for you know very little money so just makes it fun and I think you know part of that whole hunt is kind of fun too like that search you're always searching for that good deal so I think that's part of uh when we see that ad go out um I think they I think they advertise it used to be in the paper of course now we don't really get the paper so I think it's on Facebook or somebody will somebody will see it so I'll get wind of it at some point Anyhow, look at this. So this one was uh, seven ninety nine for two yards. So this is a two yard piece right here, and this is how when I buy it too, it comes just like that with this little sticker, uh, this little piece of paper. They just cut it and then they put this, they staple it right on how much it was and how much yardage. So I'm gonna keep going. You can imagine whoever was done with this fabric. My goodness. That's what my closets look like too with my fabric. I have, um, you know, we all don't, I think we all do. I think it's pretty typical for us all to have an overabundance of fabric. And um, and uh, when you add up the dollars, cause don't, don't add up the dollars. It, that doesn't matter. It was fun and that's all that matters. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep going. Look, look, look. Oh, they're so, so cute. And, you know, a lot of times I'll get a fabric that has like a musty smell to it. This absolutely does not whatsoever. It feels like it came right out of somebody's sewing room, not out of the attic, sort of. Uh, if I can describe that as it doesn't have any attic smell. It smells just nice. All right, more. Look at this. Two yards here. They paid $8 for that. It was a sale at Martin's. They were my kind of shoppers for sure, whoever this came from. You know, a lot of people will make something out of their quilts too, and then they're just done with that sort of fabric. Um, I'm not. I will keep piling it up. I'll use it for something else for sure. Just goes on and on and on. I don't even know if there's enough time to video how much is here. Look, I'll go kind of fast. So great. Now what I need to do though is, oh, look at this. This came in a bundle. This is just, these were just remnants and it looks like they bought a whole bundle of them. Just awesome. Look how much is here. Oh, so wonderful. I'm so into yellows right now. I just think they're so pretty. Oh, there's more of this one too. So there's that. I have a lot of quilts I have to make, so I'll be right on all this, all of these little hauls I keep showing you. I'm going to be using it up soon because I'm going to make a lot of quilts. And then you know how it is. So then you get, you use your bulk pieces, but then you have your scraps, and then you got to make scrap quilts. It just never ends. It's just part of the fun. Love this. And I love that there's like pieces that are just not really that big too I can put with scraps. Oh, that one feels so soft. So remnants, she was, this person that quilted um, must have used remnants. They, C. Martins does sell a lot of remnants too. 
just odd pieces they'll have it in a bin um, for sale oh that's so pretty look at that love those colors more remnants or well that one wasn't but this probably they bought in a pile like that of remnants Don't I love this? So just like that little piece, so just, just take a little piece of this and put this in, in your scrap quilts. You know, a few pieces. Oh, it's just gonna look great. I'm gonna make another pile because that's gonna tip over on me. Sometimes I have gone to estate sales and honestly, I have a huge table. I have filled that table up with fabric. And of course, when I take it out, it looks so big. And then when I fold it up, I can make it really tight so um, I fold it really small so I can fit a lot in my sewing room um, you know cabinets that I have which right now they're pretty overflowing I just need to redo them I need to sit down sometime get down and put all of my um, just do something different I have to I'm out of, getting out of space Okay, we're getting there. Stripes, I just love stripes so much. Uh, this is so pretty. That just reminds me of when I was a little kid. Just so sweet. Definitely will go into some, probably some scrap quilts. And scrap quilts are my favorite anyway. My goodness gracious. I feel like that on and on and on and on it goes. <laughs> Where it stops, nobody knows. Okay, check this out. Two, so two layer cakes. Two brand new packs of layer cakes. How fun is that? Look at that. And this one, so I don't have a lot of fabrics like this one. This, I always need um, that more like earthy tones. So this is so perfect. And this is actually called Casablanca Earth Tones by Ginny B. Bayer. And uh, look at that, fabulous. Okay, so all of the fabric, $10. Can't beat that, oh, so much fun. Helen came over yesterday and she had gone to another yard sale and she brought me something else. It was $3 and I can't wait to show that to you. Look at this. This is so wonderful. This is a sewing box. So I had had a big collection of vintage sewing boxes and honestly, I did have to part with them. I just don't have the space that to have so much stuff. So I parted with them this summer. I kept some, but I got rid of a lot of them. Just too, just, I can't have that much stuff. I think we all have a problem with collecting um, at some point and realizing, wait a minute, what? It, where am I going with this? But this one, come on, I just couldn't even stand it. And red's my favorite color in this whole, um, look is just that patchwork. It's just everything I love. It's everything. It's who I am. I feel like this was just made for me. If somebody could have designed this, if I could have designed it, this is what I would design for sure. But look, and then we open it up. Remember, this was $3. Totally different yard sale than this stuff. But look, it's even filled. It's got all the vintage threads in it. It's got all of the person's little, you know, notions. And there's two layers of this. And it's got, you know, just some of her, her notions down in the bottom here. Oh my goodness, this is so great. $3 for this. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much, so much for subscribing. I'll see you next time. Remember to keep it simple. Have a nice day. Bye.